So yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Hey, Wear Noticers, Shane here, and welcome to another video on the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel. If you're new here, definitely take a moment to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on all my other awesome technology videos about things like smartphones, smartwatches, tech accessories, cases, computers, tablets, and really just so much more. But anyway, folks, in this video, we're going to be answering one very important question. Is the new M1 Pro chip in the 2021 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros any faster than the M1 chip that's in the 13-inch 2020 MacBook Pro? So yes, I have both of these computers right here. They're both actually having the same amount of RAM. They both have 16 gigabytes, and they also both have a terabyte of solid state storage. So now in order to see if the M1 Pro chip in the 16 inch MacBook Pro right here is faster than the M1 chip in the 13 inch right here, I'm going to be doing a Final Cut Pro export test to see which one exports the video faster. So in order to do that, I will be using my iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing project in Final Cut Pro and exporting that just like I did in order to actually publish the video. So I have it open here on the MacBook Pro 16 inch and on the 13 inch. Now let's export it like I usually would. We can come up here to share and then we can go to YouTube and Facebook and then we can put it the same on both. And now here I have both set to export this file at 3840 by 2160, so 4K, better quality compression and we are ready to go. They're both saying the file is going to be 2.43 gigabytes. So yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh boy, folks. So now let's talk about what we just witnessed. So both of these machines right here took about 20 minutes to export that Final Cut Pro file, but the M1 Pro 16 inch MacBook Pro right here actually finished exporting around two minutes before the regular M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. So that is pretty good right there. Actually, when I was watching them both export, I thought they would end up um, exporting the file around the same time because the M1 Pro machine right here was only only about 1% or 2% flipping back and forth between those ahead of the regular M1 machine right here throughout the export process. So I'm pleasantly surprised that it actually finished a whole two minutes earlier. But I mean, folks, come on, let's be honest two minutes out of a 20 minute export process, that's not very much. So at least based on this test, the M1 Pro chip does not seem that much faster exporting Final Cut Pro files than the M1 chip right here. But this is the only side-by-side -side Final Cut Pro export test I've done. So I could be wrong, this is just one test, but I think the results of this video are pretty interesting. But now anyway, folks, definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of the new M1 Pro chip in the new MacBook Pros for 2021, or even the new M1 Max chip that I don't have because, you know, that's too expensive versus the regular M1 chip right here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments because I do read all the comments, by the way. And also, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Notice Technology YouTube channel for more awesome technology videos just like this one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye.